Hey, welcome back, push riders. So, first of all, B and Anzac Day 2022. Not that it should really need a special day, but it goes without saying. A very big thank you for your service to all those who served in our armed forces here in Australia and New Zealand for that matter. Yeah, what can I say? A very big thank you. Uh, so, look, this video, I figure. Let's just hang out for a bit. I've got a transmission service to do, which I'm a partial way through. Uh, all I've done is essentially just taken off the uh, one of the cooler lines, turned on the engine and let the transmission just pump itself. Not dry, but until it starts spitting and sputtering and then turn it off. And I've filled it up again with about three litres. So we're just going to go through the motions of going through the gears and stalling it up a little bit and... Just try and clean it out a little bit, we'll drain it again and then we'll get underneath the car and do a filter and pan gasket and just have a quick look in there. So, so yeah, hope you've all been uh, keeping well and staying out of trouble or getting into trouble, whatever you like to do. So, um, yeah, look, if you're, uh, I suppose first of all, if you're liking the videos, you know, like, Don't hesitate to uh, give us a like and um, you know like comment if you think they're average or you know like you reckon there's so, a little bit more information that I could put in you know chuck it down in the comments or if you like them and you say hey I like this because of blah 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 you know, all good chuck it in the comments um, and uh, yeah like even just because we don't cover the likes of, you know, LS V8 stuff or ABC, XYZ, whatever it may be, look, hit us up in the comments. There may be something we've got in the plan uh, for the future or, you know, like, it is what it is. Um, we may be able to, like, if it's more like... Um, bodywork and panel beating and all that sort of deal I reckon I could you know you want to learn a little bit more about that even just a simple how to knock out a dent hit us up in the comments I can ask around a few guys that I know that do panel work and um, yeah you might you know we might get lucky I think the natives are getting a bit restless um, but yeah, so what else have we got? Uh, oh, well, we've definitely got the series for Casper coming up. Uh, we've got a few more bits and pieces that have just come in. Uh, probably this week or next week I'm going to try and get off to one of the import wreckers to see if I can get a um, a turbo cat, uh, OEM turbo cat back part of the exhaust system for this uh, we've got parts just come in for Bouncing Betty our HR Holden Gasser so now um, we can finish up the steering um, really what was holding us back was actually the sump the like i'll probably mention in the video anyway the early holden sumps they have the oil pickup and the reservoir part at the back of the motor whereas the later model ones like uh, mid 80s early 80s they had the pickup for, uh, a different shaped uh, oil pickup and the, the oil reservoir at the front of the engine and of course I needed the ladder for all the um, steering bits and pieces to clear the sump so and which means it's less work for me I can just go down to uh, there's a place called rare spares here in Australia they do a lot of repop sort of um, all sorts of different parts panels steering brakes uh, they're, they're sort of like a, um, uh, probably say a little miniature version of 
some of the big part suppliers like LMC Truck or, you know, um, places that just deal with uh, GM or Ford or any of that sort of stuff. How would you guys, would you guys be up for a live, uh, like a, you know, I think they call it a super chat or something, but, you know, just a bit of a live feed, sort of kick back, relax, Q&A. Um, would you guys be up for that? Uh, just a few ideas I've been toying around with. I figured, hey, why not? I'll run it past you guys. So, probably can't see too much there, but. Uh, let that drain out until we hear this bit of spluttering and there we go yeah so yeah look hit us up in the comments what what you would like to see um i was also toying around with the idea like it'll probably be later on of course but um I've got a little bit of small engine stuff. Admittedly, it's vintage small engine, but you know, like I know there's quite a few of you out there in YouTube land, you know, viewers, that may not have enough room or cash or whatever it may be to do like a, you know a major project like a, a vehicle, you know, like bouncing Betty there or whatever you know full front end conversions and engine uh, swaps and all that sort of stuff but um, yeah look you may uh, yes Batman smells all right so yeah uh, where are we ah. yeah so look if you want to I know small engine stuff isn't everyone's cup of tea and you know, all the all their deal. But uh, like I was saying, you know, like for the for the person that doesn't have a lot of room or finances, tools, whatever it may be, uh, no, it would be a pretty cool little project. So, but um, anyway, look once again. Chuck it up in the comments, see what you, you know, what, if you want to look at a little bit of that sort of stuff or not. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that crosses over, whether it's bigger stuff like vehicles to these little machines, you know, like there's welding and fabrication, there's engine servicing and there's, you know, like a little bit of um, engine assembly and, you know, painting, a bit of bodywork sort of stuff, um, you know, what. Like, it all it's it's all automotive based so it's, uh, hey look if you're liking all the car shows and cars and coffees and uh for um heathcote drag meetings you know um yeah chuck if you want to see more of that in chuck it down in the comments you know it's all good. So, but, uh, where's my torch? There it is. Uh, yeah. So, you've probably seen most of my videos uh, my my background is actually a uh, actually probably seen a little bit of a I think there was a what why how sort of uh, was the title of the video um, why I started up the YouTube channel and that sort of thing um, I could probably elaborate on that a little bit more and I uh, I just wanted to, uh, well, 
like I said, help people. And, you know, if, if you got a little bit out of it, you know, just even like to what, like uh, last video, what, it, what to look out for when you're doing a timing belt. It's not necessarily this is how to do a particular job. It's what to, all the little things to look out for. Um, but uh, it's, I wanted to uh, make the videos not only to help people, like I said, but uh, it'd be a good way to keep myself motivated to finish all these projects and keep going on with more projects that I've, I've had in mind. And you know, as the uh, finances and time are available, I can keep getting into them and doing all this sort of stuff. So let's have a look at this oil. Yes, yeah, bit on the filthy side. That's only three litres of oil, but uh, well, it's still reasonably clean. But um, yeah, it could definitely do with a change. So the uh, the initial uh, draining of the uh, transmission it was probably more dirtier than that again. So cool. Let's jack up this car. the likes and subscribes and all that sort of stuff and like, uh, like I keep saying a hey, comment um, no, I'd really like to know your thoughts guys so if you can there's also jacking points on most cars so just check with your car uh, like a little operator's manual or whatever you get in your car or if you don't have that you know you can also look up on YouTube and all the other stuff but um, yeah it's usually got jacking points on you know, particular places even on full chassis vehicles like four wheel drives and pickups and trucks and all that sort of stuff so uh, uh, Yeah, for me, doing YouTube videos uh, was a way to keep my busy, uh, to keep myself busy in between uh, in between jobs and uh, uh, yeah, just thought needed another outlet creative outlet I guess you could say and like I said so it's just to keep me more motivated to get all my projects done and if I can bring you guys along sweet you know, can all learn a bit like you know you guys comment and put comments down in the in the old comment pit and Go, hey that's not how you do it or hey this is a better way to do it and or you go oh thanks for that I didn't really know that that was a better way of doing such and such and all the rest of it you know so it's all good so, hopefully I should get my my fat ass under this car, I should hopefully be able to fit onto the next side. So, guys, question time if you had unlimited amount of money, what sort of workshop would you have? Me? Uh, Definitely one with a hoist for sure. 
instead of uh, groveling around on the damn ground. Uh, probably have, well I've got my CNC plasma table there, but uh, probably have a decent welding hot area set up. Uh, Bolt to top. Very bloody tight. Um, yeah, pretty uh, nice, generous uh, workshop area. Uh, so they haven't been out for a while. Uh, what else? Damn it. Um, yeah, just plenty of storage, plenty of light. Uh, because I'm also into the vintage tractors and machinery as well. You know, wanting a decent amount of room. To do all that sort of stuff as well which uh, most likely later on this year you'll probably end up seeing some of those probably end up doing some of those uh, said machines um, I'd really like to it was a father-son project that I started when I think I was about 10 or 12 uh, with with my dad and uh, I'd really like to finish it out with with my sons so you know it's like three generations have worked on this little uh, tractor which is a little Alice Chalmers B model uh, it's, I think it's 1939 so it's like 80 something years old so yeah, that'd be pretty cool to see. Uh, hopefully try and get me old man and uh, everyone in the same place at the same time. Which will be pretty cool. Uh, what else? We do have a, of all things, a footpath roller. like your steamroller I guess but uh, it's a little single cylinder diesel powered roller a road roller sort of thing um, believe it or not it's actually called a McDonald and they were made uh, right here in Victoria Australia in uh, Richmond so um, yeah so, hopefully a, a variety of projects that should hopefully tickle everyone's fancy a little bit. Uh, and then of course we've got Casper here that we're working on and bouncing Betty, our gasser. And then we've also got a uh, Nissan, let me put on some light. Uh, Nissan Path, which is a little turbo diesel, so yeah. And I've got a few other projects in mind, but they're probably going to have to wait for a while because room and money and you know, that old chestnut. So yeah, I'm I'm interested to know what what projects you guys are working on. Uh, put down in the comments that'd be pretty cool to see um, if you want we've got uh, an inst Instagram page uh, and can you believe it I can't even remember the friggin <laughs> what it's under but uh, uh, look I'll uh, I'll um, put it up on there 
the screen. Um, yeah, and you can get note uh, get notices when uh, videos are dropped, and you're more than welcome to uh, share with me your projects and all that sort of thing. So. Yeah, so be pretty cool to see. And uh, look, worst comes to worst, uh, if you're agreeable to it, of course. Um, we might even do a thing where we can, uh, we might put on some viewers' cars up on Instagram there. Do a little montage or something like that. And um, everyone else can have a check out what you've been working on. Yeah, looks a little bit uh, on the dirty side. Give that a good clean. We'll give the magnet a clean in there. So you know what? I'm not even going to touch this gasket. Gasket sealed real well. I might just put a little bit of gasket maker, a bit of silicon just around there just to make sure it seals but I ain't going to rip that gasket off and put the new one on because some dumbass has cut the packaging and also cut the gasket so it's could probably use it and get away with it but I'm not going to trust it Nice one, part store people. Alrighty, let's get cleaning. Well, guys, it's gonna put an end to our video, I guess, is this little bugger. Uh, I thought uh, this filter out of an earlier model skyline, I think it's like R33 or 32 would fit the 34 but it doesn't so and of course nothing's open being a public holiday so I'm going to go ahead and get the sump back on the transmission and fill it up and we'll, uh, we'll have a look into ordering a filter and I guess luckily enough that this um, sump's actually got a drain plug on it so I'll put it all in a clean container and then reuse it again. So anyway, that's a bit of a bit of a pain in the butt, but eh, what can you do? So hey, look, thanks for uh, for hanging out with me, and uh, even though it's been a bit one-sided sort of conversation, but yeah, hey, look, chuck you know what, chuck all your comments and everything down in the comment pit, and you know what you want to see and what you want to see me do and blah 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 and you know and uh, yeah hey, look to all you vets too once again thank you for your service so what are you waiting for go get your hands dirty i'll see you next video